Chef Billy Parisi here with Heinen's, and I'm going to make one of my all-time favorite dishes, braised short ribs and polenta. The first thing we're going to do is start off with some beef chuck short ribs that you can pick up from your favorite Heinen's meat department. We want to season them well on both sides with salt and fresh cracked black pepper. Set them to the side and in a large pot with a little bit of olive oil on high heat. We want to add in those beef short ribs. We're going to cook them for about four to six minutes per side or until they are nice and golden brown like this. Once they are, set them to the side on a plate. And in that same pot, we're going to add in some onions, celery, carrots, finely minced garlic. Give it a stir. We want to saute this for another four to six minutes. Get a little brown on them. Then we're going to add in some parsley stems, thyme stems. We're going to deglaze with some red wine that I picked up from the pick of the vine section in the wine section from Heinen's. I'm also going to add in some beef stock. Next, what we want to do is add in some tomato paste. This is going to help thicken it, bring some nice tomato flavors in there. And this is the braising liquid. So take the time and do it well. Season it with salt and pepper. Now add those short ribs back in there. You'll notice that they'll be pretty much submerged in that liquid. Put a lid over the top. It's going in the oven on 350 degrees. It's going to take about three hours. With about 25 minutes left in the cooking process, though, in a pot with some olive oil, we're going to add in some onions and garlic. Give them a quick little stir. We are over medium to medium high heat. Next, add in some cornmeal or yellow grits. We are going to slowly pour in chicken stock while continually whisking. You have to continue to whisk to make polenta or else you're going to get clumps in there. After it is cooked, we're going to add in some Parmesan cheese. Season it with salt and pepper and mix this in. And polenta is such a delicious treat and goes so great with so many meals. Once it is finished cooking, which takes about 10 minutes total, we're going to add some to a bowl. And then I'm going to load up with quite a few little short ribs here. And then last but not least, get some of that gravy out of the pot that they were cooked in and pour it right over top. And this, my friends, is a fantastic meal. 